Hello there, you're welcome to another tutorial on SC Toots. I'm Sir Classy, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to flip melody samples and create a beat out of it. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Alright, so right here we have some melody loops which you can get in our community section from just by purchasing a one-year membership. By clicking the link in the description below, we have loads, loads and loads of melodies. So let's, so let's pick a melody. Let's use this melody. Hmm, this is nice too. Wow, that's nice. Well, let's use this melody. And well, then we'll adjust the tempo. Let's bring it down to, let's say, 101. Then we adjust the levels. And the good thing with our melodies is that it automatically snaps to your tempo. It just fits into your tempo. You don't have to stretch and fit and try to fit it in and cut it up and all of that. So now that we have a melody, we're going to try and find the key and play something on it. So one of the easiest ways to find the key and chord progression of any melody or sample is there's an app. It's free for iPhone and Android. It's called Chord AI. What it does is that it tells you the melody and the chord progression of the key or the sample or wherever you are trying to find the key and progression of. But we're going to do this the manual style. And one of the easiest ways to get that done is to load up a piano because a piano gives you the true tone of a sound. Either a piano or a guitar, but we'll use a piano, FL keys for that. So let's load up. And then we we'll listen to the melody and try to find the key by coming here, come to this panel icon here. This melody loop may not be in key C. If it's in key C, then I don't need to do anything here. But if it's not, you see me change my um this blue line right here. I'll right click it to change the direction until I find the key. So let's try and see. It's not in key C, so I'm going to right click this to C. I'm going to try and find the remix fast flat to do that. I'm going to try and play this one, two, three. So if these notes match most of the melody while it's playing, then it's, that is most likely the key. So let's keep trying. That's not it. Let's try again. Yes, that is the key. See, it matches in. 
fits in. So it could take you a little bit of time, but that's how to get the key of any sample. Next, we're going to play some chords so we know the chords and know how to build melodies around it. All right, so now we're going to try to find the chord progression for this sample. And finding the chord progression with this method can need a little bit of ear training. So you may need to do a lot of trial and error to get this, but when you get when you get used to it, it helps you a lot. It speeds up the process and makes you even more creative. So what we're going to do, we're going to listen to the um, sample and we're going to try and find the chord that matches it the most. So we're going to try, let me bring this closer. You can I'll just observe these keys right here and see how they play. So we're going to try this, then we're going to try this, and we're going to try this until we find the key, the chords that matches it the most. No, that doesn't match it. Let me increase the volume a little so you hear it, the comparison. That doesn't match it. Let's try this. That doesn't match it. Let's try the next one. Nope. Let's try this. This came close. All right. Let's assume it's this. Then like there are two chords here dun, dun, that's dun, 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 dun. so let's see oh wow this matches it let's see i want to sometimes you can have other chords that may match the key of the sample so it's up to you when you get the chord that you feel comes closest to it, you can roll with that. Sometimes you may not need the exact chord progression, you may just need the chord that fits into the sample. So let's record that and see. So now that we have our chord progression, let me open that up. Yeah, so we have our chord progression and next we're going to um, add some more melodies then play or rather use our drum loop and just to see how it sounds overall so now let's add another vst let's use triton all right so to use this melody remember we already changed the key from here to b5 the root note here is b5 so we'll come to triton so we'll come here and we come to b5 then we'll come back here. Then we'll pick out some sounds. Let's look for mallet. All right, so. Let's try and play something along with this. Let's see. All right, so let's record that melody in. That melody is simple. I'm just simply replaying the chord, but I'm chopping it up. So I did an improvisation here by playing something else. Like I did. So make sure when you play something like that, it actually fits the progression. We'll quantize this. So now let's add a drum loop. We still have lots of drum loops in our community section. Let's use that. I like that drum loop. 
And like I said, our drum, our loops automatically snap to your tempo. You don't have to do too much. Let's listen and see. You can take out the initial piano you played if you don't want that um, key that you used to find your, or if you don't want the sound that you used to find your key initially. Let me turn off the metronome. Alright, let's add a bass. We we'll use 808. Or let's use you know, let's use a straight bass. Let's use a straight bass. Um, we we'll use purity for that. And then we'll come to presets, bass. And don't forget to change the key. And then we'll listen. Then. All right, so let's play that bass line and see. All right, let's listen. Quantize. can keep adding more and more melodies you can even um insert lounge lizard and don't forget to always change the key to match then let's listen and see So let's just create a simple rhythm. Let's see. All right, let's record that in. Let's hear how it sounds. When you quantize um, riffs like this, you have to be careful because if I play it back, you see that it will lose its um, its vibe. No, we don't want that. So we'll just select everything, come to one of our first step, reduce it a little. Make it a little bit longer. Sometimes the length at which you leave your notes can affect the vibe of it. So you have to take that into consideration. Sometimes you can leave these imperfect notes here, like, like something not being on there and you can add to the feel as well. You can create some solos around it. And there's so much more you can do. You can create a full song structure. And that is how to use a melody loop. So you don't have to be stuck with just that melody loop all the way through your beat. You can actually find the key, the root notes, you know, um, the melody, the chord progression and build more melodies around it and create a whole new vibe from just that melody.
Now you can't even hear the main melody itself. It sounds like a whole new vibe entirely. If I turn off the drums. Then I bring the drums. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find us and hit the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when we drop a new video by hitting the bell icon as well. I remember Sarah Classy. Don't forget you can get project files, loops, kits, melodies, and more from our community section by simply hitting the link in the description below. Cheers.